Live at Thrive City, presented by Chase, is back on tomorrow celebrating the sounds of Afrobeats with free live entertainment for the entire family to enjoy. Joining me now to discuss the Afrobeats dance party is artist Flygerian Jeff. Flygerian Jeff, thanks so much for joining hey, us today. thank you for having me. Appreciate Absolutely. It. I love the name, too. Flygerian uh, yeah. Jeff. Look and fly. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it. Perfect. So when it comes to Live at Thrive City, tell me a little bit about this event. I know it kicked off last week, but mm -hmm. this week is Afrobeats dance party. Yeah, so this is going to be a collaboration between Live and Thrive and Empire, mm -hmm. also with United Tribes of Africa, which is a brand that, you know, started in like 2018 in Oakland. And what can people expect when they come see you, your set at Live and Thrive? Oh, uh, man, I mean, honestly, they're going to be able to expect like, you know, Afrobeats music from Ghana, Nigeria, and a little bit of some Mama Piano from South Africa, and just basically just the sound that, you know, Africa has. Mm -hmm. And out. when you were approached about this opportunity, mm. what came to mind when you realized, hey, I can come and do this Afrobeats thing? Um, I've already had, I, like, I had a um, relationship with Empire from, like, previous, like, events, and, um, they already know that, you know, basically we've been putting together, my brand, um, United Tribes of Africa, we've been putting together events throughout the Bay Area since, you know, 2018. So they already knew that, you know, I was going to be able to deliver that mm. and that I would be able to, like, kind of make sure that the night got what it needed. That's incredible. I know a lot of people are probably looking forward to that. Yeah. And you mentioned your band. Let's get a little bit, uh, and your music. Let's get mm. a little bit deeper into that. Mm. When did your music career first begin? Because I know you kind of had a little bit of a later start mm. when it came to the Afrobeats area mm. of music. Mm. As far as, um, as far as like music is concerned, like I'm pretty much like a real estate agent of music. Mm -hmm. As far as like artists putting out their, their tunes and everything else, Afrobeats is really just like a sound that comes directly like from Africa and I'm able to actually like deliver and kind of put people onto the sound as well. Now, what helps is that the genre does well for itself, but as far as the Bay Area, just being like that, you know, that go-to brand yeah. is, what able, is what I've been able to do. Um, as far as like music, I have music coming out soon, working on some things, but as far as right now, I'm a DJ mm -hmm. and an event curator and just someone to actually like be a tastemaker of that kind of vibe. And how have you seen your vibe and your taste grow throughout the years? It's grown tremendously. Like, yeah. honestly, shout out to all of the artists and shout out to all of the local artists and just anyone that's in the avenue of African music because it helps grow as a community and we all kind of like manifest that. From where it was in 2010 to where it is now is actually like to be studied. So I'm really happy to be a part of that family and happy to like help push that genre forward in the Bay Area and beyond. Mm -hmm. And do you see, um, when, it when it comes to terms of people receiving certain genres, mm -hmm. what are you seeing out there when, when people listen to Afrobeats? Um, I definitely see like um, more of an easier take on things. Like the way that it makes people feel, I think, is a little bit yeah. different than most genres because you can get a little bit of like house, you can get a little bit of R&B, you can get a little bit of pop, you can get a little bit of everything, but it's just the rhetoric that it takes. It takes on a different, more spiritual vibe whenever Afrobeats gets in the intermingled in it. So I definitely think like it's it's definitely starting to be more of a household name mm -hmm. when it comes to what people expect from Afrobeats and what people feel and what people think about it. So. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm really just happy to be a part of it, to be honest with you. It's like, you know, it's, it's definitely a blessing. Wonderful. And I have one more question for you. Let's bring it back to the event. So mm -hmm. it's kicking off tomorrow. Yeah. Tell us when and where, how people can come check you out. Um, definitely hit the link. Um, and RSVP is going to be at the Chase Center. Mm -hmm. It's going to be from 6 to 8. I'm um, going to definitely play, you know, Afrobeats music and a little bit of some, I'm a piano, Afro house and um, yeah, just you know, come ready to dance, come ready to vibe. There's I was gonna, be gonna great ask. Food. They're gonna be dancing. Yeah, it's gonna be dancing. It's gonna be great food. It's gonna be um, a lot of other things. And later on, we'll be you know, at Parliament for another Afrobeats event called No Wahala, which is put on by my brand United Tribes of Africa as well. Sounds like a darn good time. So thank you so much, Flygerian Jeff, for joining us here today on the I show. Appreciate you. We appreciate Thanks for it. Having me.